A woman not knowing how to feed her hungry children will do anything, even steal. But there is no justification for the law, and every crime must be punished. The heroine of our story, 47-year-old Helen Johnson, was forced to steal as her children were dying of hunger. When she saw a police car in her window, she realized that retribution had already come for her. That day, when she woke up in the morning, the woman realized that all the food in the house was gone. There was not a single crumb, not even bread or milk, nothing. The children were hungry, so Helen decided to commit theft in order to feed her children. She went to the supermarket and took five eggs. That was enough to feed them at least breakfast. But unfortunately for the woman, supermarkets are equipped with CCTV cameras, and soon, in hot pursuit, she was quickly identified. Already at lunchtime, she saw through the window how a police car drove up to her house. So many thoughts flashed through her mind at that moment, but most of all, she was afraid that her children would be taken away from her and that she would be sent to prison for the crime she had committed. When the policeman entered Helen's house, he first of all asked her about the motives of her act. The woman silently opened the refrigerator and showed that it was completely empty. She could not afford to buy food for her children. The policeman said that he suspected so, so he invited the woman to come with him to his car. Helen, not knowing what to expect, went out with the policeman, and when he opened the door, the woman began to cry. The entire police vehicle was filled with food for her family. It took several trips to bring all the food packages into Helen's house. The policeman, understanding what exactly made the woman steal only five eggs, decided not to fine or punish her, but bought food with his own money and brought it to the woman and her children. Helen, with tears in her eyes, recalls that their house has not seen so much food since she herself was 12 years old when she lived here with her mother and grandmother. The act of this policeman is truly admirable and respectful. He took into account the poor woman's motives for stealing but did not condemn her and instead helped her in difficult times. Friends, let's be more compassionate and merciful to those who need our help. Perhaps a small bag of food brought to a hungry person in time will save them from committing theft and perhaps even from starvation.